Welcome back, DO Research Hub. In today's captivating episode, we embark on a thrilling journey into the past to explore the recovery of the magnificent Indus Valley civilization. Prepare to be amazed as we uncover the secrets of this ancient civilization and discover how it flourished and ultimately vanished. So, fasten your seatbelts and let's dive deep into the intriguing story of the Indus Valley civilization. The Recovery and Study of the Indus Civilization The Indus Civilization is known to have consisted of two large cities, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, and more than 100 towns and villages, often of relatively small size. The two cities were each perhaps originally about 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers, square in overall dimensions, and their outstanding magnitude suggests political centralization, either in two large states or in a single great empire with alternative capitals, a practice having analogies in Indian history. It is also possible that Harappa succeeded Mohenjo-daro, which is known to have been devastated more than once by exceptional floods. The population was estimated to be 23,500 to 35,000 in Harappa and 35,000 to 41,250 in Mohenjo-daro. The southern region of the civilization, on the Kadiawar Peninsula and beyond, appears to be of later origin than the major Indus sites. The Indus civilization evolved from the villages of neighbors or predecessors, using the Mesopotamian model of irrigated agriculture with sufficient skill to reap the advantages of the spacious and fertile Indus River Valley while controlling the formidable annual flood that simultaneously fertilizes and destroys. Having obtained a secure foothold on the plain and mastered its more immediate problems, the new civilization, doubtless with a well-nourished and increasing population, would find expansion along the flanks of the great waterways an inevitable sequel. The civilization subsisted primarily by farming, supplemented by appreciable but often elusive commerce. Wheat and six-row barley were grown, field peas, mustard, sesame, and a few date stones have also been found, as well as some of the earliest known traces of cotton. Domesticated animals included dogs and cats, humped and shorthorn cattle, domestic fowl, and possibly pigs, camels, and buffalo. The Asian elephant probably was also domesticated, and its ivory tusks were freely used. And there you have it, dear viewers. The remarkable story of the Indus Valley civilization, once lost but never forgotten. Join us next time as we continue our journey through the annals of history, unearthing more fascinating tales from the past. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Until then, keep exploring and keep embracing the wonders of our world.